Age of Calamity is not a Breath of the Wild prequel. If you think that going in, you will feel very disappointed. Now that out of the way, this video contains very heavy spoilers for the game, and contains a lot more swearing than my average video. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Hyrule Warriors is finally out, the game we've been waiting for for months. We're gonna learn what happened in the Calamity, we're gonna have some fun, beat em up, get it's shit. It's shit, it's really shit. I don't even think the gameplay can carry this one. Because, here's the thing about this game. For about the first three to four chapters, basically everything before the Calamity, it's wonderful. The story is great, the characters are interesting, the gameplay is fun. But then around this point, the gameplay takes a, just a total nosedive in quality. One thing in particular about this game that's surprisingly hateable is this little guardian. Most of the narrative issues in this game rely on Eggface McGee over here. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. You have this one really awesome team of Link and Rivali, where Rivali's like, Ah, fuck you, Link, you a weak little bitch, I hate you. And then Link's like, fuck you, you stupid, you stupid, you stupid. Then the robot's like, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee 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 You paid 60 pounds for this, wee 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 fuck you. You know, the money I spent on this game could have went to a charity or something. Pretty much most interesting interactions between the champions, Link, Zelda, the king, yada yada yada, always without fail ends up getting undercut or interrupted by little funny egg guardian who needs to remind you, Hey guys, it's me, Funny Air Guardian. Beep boop, beep boop. I, I'm cute and I am marketable. Also, some of the writing in this game is super funny to me for all the wrong reasons. An example of this is when the king dies when the calamity starts, which is really emotional. I was like genuinely tearing up at this bit because it was so good. But then he's brought back in, like, what to be? It's just like, it, it makes sense, but it's just the funniest fucking way to bring him back possible. Here, I'll play the clip for you uneducated swines who haven't wasted 50 pounds on this game. <laughs> Ah oh, shit, you know boys, we may have got ourselves into trouble here. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> okay, Grom, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Don't worry boys, I'm gonna pull what's called an epic gamer move on these guys. Just fucking watch me. Fucking unlucky mate, cry about it. <laughs> Let's go hit the road, fellas. And that's how I cheated Death Zelda. A lot of the stuff relating to Zelda and the King in this game is just so unbelievably, like, laughably dumb to me. Like, have a look at these two clips. You've always loved me. Everything you've done has always been for me. Flashback. Don't take it away! The return of the Calamity has been foretold. As the Princess of Hyrule, your sole focus must be on your training. A toy such as this is merely a distraction. King Roam. Gotta love him. Loving single father of one. Did no wrong raising his kid. Good guy all around. Would love to get drinks with him sometime. Now here's the thing. I have no problem with Ram being a shitty parent. He always was to a degree in Breath of the Wild. And he always will be. But the problem is. Is that he apologises for that. And then tells like. No you were good. You cared for me. And whatever. And he wasn't. Like. He was a shit parent. He owned that, and the game should have just let him own that. But even then, outside of all of that, this game's worst mistake is, you guessed it, through Eggface McGee over here, when he introduces time travel to this, which doesn't need to be in it at all. Yes, in the prequel to the game Breath of the Wild, the game about accepting that the past is dead, and all you can do now is rebuild and make something new and better, the climax is that they time travel and save the day. I shit you not. Isn't that just wonderful? Now we can have a big fan service fight that completely retcons Breath of the World out of existence. Unless we're- unless it's a different timeline. But the thing about this is you rebooted Zelda to get out of that stupid, confusing timeline, and then you made a new stupid, confusing timeline. WHY?! This game has seriously killed my hype for Breath of the Wild 2. Now we need to ask these questions about Breath of the Wild 2. Will it live up to whatever promises it makes? What timeline will it be in? Will it even follow up on Breath of the Wild? Will it be good? I mean, I sure hope it's good. We've been waiting for almost a year and a half for it. Now, beforehand, I would have went into Breath of the Wild 2 thinking, of course it's going to be good. It's a sequel to Breath of the Wild. That's like the best game of all time. But now the two games associated with that name, one of them is a masterpiece, and one of them is a pile of dog shit. But hey, what do I know? I'm the guy who honestly likes Ninjago Season 11, which is cringe and bad and cringe and bad. Don't you forget it. What do you think? Do you think I'm being too harsh on this game? 
Let me know. Please, God, let me know. Please help me like this game.